let's get this party started. Hey everyone, Ann Martin Fry here, founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence, Inc. I have a nice update for you folks with regards to the Planacita Hope farming project uh, that Homeless to Independence has kicked off and we're working reverently on. Yeah, I thought I could see these this without the readers. All right, so anyway, next week, Tuesday on April 25th, we are having a painting party here. We're painting a three back wall area. I'm going to have the picture of, of the three walls as the thumbprint. So don't, don't be dismayed by how it looks because that's the area that is getting painted. Then we're going to put our logo up there for the plant a seed project and uh, farming project. And we're, that's where the sponsorship plaques are going to go. Um, so the painting party is here at our location in Quakertown. I do currently have, uh, with, uh, John and myself, we have, um, six, seven people that have committed to come. Um, we could always use another hand or two if you're in the greater Quakertown, Upper Bucks County, Pennsylvania area, and you want to help out and paint and help move stuff, not heavy stuff. Uh, please reach out to me uh, via my email, and it will be below uh, in, in the um, overview. Okay, so uh, about the Seed of Hope project, again, I want to let everybody know uh, the purpose of this project is not to raise produce and fruits to sell. We're not selling nothing. What is going to happen is we've already got roots that we um, service in uh, New Jersey and Pennsylvania, Eastern Pennsylvania, just about almost into Harrisburg, actually. And on those roots are many soup kitchens and uh, pantries, food pantries. And the produce that is raised and harvested is going to go into those soup pantries and um, soup kitchens and, uh, you know, even some... Um, homeless shelters where they do feed, uh, you know, make, prepare the meal. Uh, we're going to do our best to collaborate for, with some of the big, big dogs um, and help uh, supply produce, uh, fresh produce for their patrons also. So that's the plan. And, uh, and I always uh, come to fruition with everything that I plan because it's, it, uh, everything comes, all the thoughts and um, come from God. So, um, that's what we are planning on doing. Let me get this stuff off. There we go. Get off. Get off. Um, so that's what the, the project is all about. Uh, we have a special account that is set up. I even have a Venmo account where we can even take cryptocurrencies. We are dedicating our monetized uh, platforms such as Rumble. Um, we're also monetized on Pill.net. And, uh, and I have the buttons already uh, set up for, um, through the Venmo for our PayPal. And all that is specially going to go specifically to the account for the Plan of Cedaho project, which was opened last week at the bank. And, um, and I started off with a $100 cash, personal cash donation. All right, folks. So um, anybody that wants to uh, see that information, where do I have it at? I've already sent one email out, but I have it on our Homeless to Independence page, and I'll put the address, um, the link uh, address, uh, where you can go to make donations of any size. We're looking for, we have three tier levels, and um, but I kind of left off like $49 and below. If, if you want to even make a dollar donation, that would be awesome. Um, we are even open to taking uh, monthly donations. We have a couple folks that do donate regularly. Uh, it's, it's like on their auto pay, and it comes to Homeless to Independence's PayPal account. If that's something that you're interested in doing and helping us out, it would be greatly appreciated. Homeless to Independence, we are all volunteer, uh, and we get no grant funding. We raise our funds um, with our charity vetted eBay page, and then we have two uh, stores here in the Quakertown Farmer's Market. One is of the one-of-a-kind shop, which is a DBA for Homeless to Independence, and it's store number 258. Then we also have the Man Cave, uh, which is just like it says a Man Cave, and then there's also like sports stuff in there. There's holiday stuff 
odd to find, hard to find pieces, tools, old tools, all, all that kind of stuff. And that's store number 371. <coughs> Excuse me. John runs that store on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. I run the one-of-a-kind shop. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here at the Quaker Town Farmer's Market. So we are looking for sponsorships uh, for the plaques that are going to go on the wall that is getting painted. I have received word from a couple of entities that have stated that there are checks on the way to watch our mailbox. So I'm really grateful for that. And it's not going to go into our regular operational funds because I do keep our current operational funds under strict budget in our main account. And then this is a special account that the funds are going into. It's going to help uh, us to uh, put the down payment and all the closing costs and stuff when we get to closing. And then that account will become our operational account for that project specifically. It's not going to be meshed in with the um, with the, our regular ongoing uh, stuff that we do in our outreach and, and all the uh, regular overhead bills that we have to cover. You know, uh, and yeah, the price of gas going up. Um, I'm doing my best um, with, we have two gas apps that we use that help us save even sometimes 20, 25 cent a gallon on gas. And for even for, and anybody can use them, not just like uh, businesses, but primarily it's for, um, it's for uh, individuals, but I, because I use my, I have it tied in with our, our nonprofits account for payment. So, and then of course, everybody that does Wawa knows that Wawa through May 7th is 15 cent off a gallon also. <sighs> as long as you use their app. And it's really easy to use. It's, it's, I do believe they are on the up and up. Uh, I mean, you're purchasing gas and it keeps money out of your pocket, so to speak. Uh, even though we do need to have money in our pocket because you never know what's going to, what's happening in the background that's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. So we just have to, um, be vigilant and, uh, take care of ourselves primarily, you know, and take care of others that are having a hard time. So that's about it, guys. That's it. Painting party next week here in Quaker Town. Uh, reach out to me via my email. I can always use a, a few extra hands. And, you know, sometimes uh, folks say they can make it and then something will come up, you know, because life happens. So, uh, and I appreciate everybody. I thank you so much for your time and watching the video. And I thank you for supporting Homeless to Independence and the people we serve. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye now.